true, true story. Run Run and I had kind of been, well, Run Run's file had gotten so thick. <laughs> And I had just about had enough to where I cleaned, cleaned his locker out and put him on the road. And two days later, his mom shows up and brings Run Run up to the field house. Says, listen, coach. Said, I know he can make your head hurt. He talks so much. He's got, he, she, she, she said he drives me crazy at the house. <laughs> but said, I know this. If he doesn't play football, he won't finish high school. I said, is there any way that we could get him back involved, get him back on the team? I said, well, and before I could say anything else, she said, listen, coach, you do anything to him that you want to. <laughs> you can hit him <laughs> any way you want to. <laughs> Except on the right side of that head, he's got a steel plate on that right side. Just stay away from that. I think we're going to be able to work something out with That's true, wasn't it, Run Run? Listen, like Coach Bobo said, uh, West Rome special, I know Tyrell called me a couple of days ago and was talking about the plaque over in the Walmart parking lot. But let me tell you something about that. It was never about the building. Y'all understand that, don't you? Yes. It was about the people in the building. It's always about the people in the building. And the people in the building at West Rome, it was the best. And when I look out here today, and I mean, I'm, I, I, look at, I look at cheerleaders, I look at band members. We had the best cheerleaders, best band, as well as the best football team. We, we had it. We, we had it all. We were the best pit rallies ever, best run through signs ever. I mean, when I asked for the job at West Rome, and they asked me, because Dolores had been the cheerleader sponsor at, uh, over at Commerce, I asked about her being cheerleader sponsor at uh, West Rome. He said, Coach, we actually have a period for cheerleading. I never heard of that before. <laughs> I see cheerleading now has changed so much. They've got the competition cheerleaders and all. They've kind of gotten away from that spirit that yep. cheerleaders generate. We had the best spirit because of those cheerleaders. And that band was awesome. We had everything. You gotta have it all to be able to get it all and have the success that, that you people had at West Rome be a part of it. But uh, I'm thankful. I'm really thankful and blessed to have, have been able to coach at West Rome uh, and be a part of that. And let me just say this. You know, right now, all of us, you're either wasting your life, you're spending your life, or you're investing your life. And you get to choose. We get to choose where we're going to invest our lives in people and in things that are going to make a difference and hopefully pay eternal dividends. You can make a difference. Your life counts. All our lives count. We don't, we don't need to make excuses. This world right now we're living in is so different from the world you grew up in. And it's calling for warriors to be able to stand up. That's where evil has a chance to win, when, when good folks just don't stand up. And I know this about football. The difference between good teams and great teams, the difference between a good player and a great player, is those teams and players that can play the fourth quarter. You know, those teams and players that can just hit another gear in the fourth quarter and elevate their play. That's, that's, that's how you win championships. Now, I did it in the fourth quarter of my life. And a lot of you didn't hit it that way. And it's all about winning the fourth quarter, right? right. The legacy that you're going to leave your family and your friends is going to be defined by how you finish your race. Right. So let's finish strong. Let's finish strong. And that chieftain spirit and being able to win, you know what, you know what winning's about. You know what finishing your race is about. You know what winning that fourth quarter is about. So I challenge you to do that.